everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J here in Unknown Territory. You guys have never seen me film here before. I am in Puffin's wife's house. <laughs> I'm in her beauty studio, and today we're- She's in Puffin's room. You're in Puffin's room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> today, we are filming a video on abandoned products, products that got so much love when they released, and now nobody talks about them. So this is a thing, so we decided to make a video about it. If you guys <laughs> knew the extent of what I go through to get some of these things- She's ridiculous. And now nobody uses them, so yeah. We're gonna talk about that today. But uh, before we jump into that, I just want to give the disclaimer that just because we are featuring these products in this video, that does not mean that these are products that we don't like. Except for one, I don't like one. Okay, me too. <laughs> but um, just because we're saying that these items are forgotten, it doesn't mean that they're bad. Because you might still use them every day. We're not saying you're like, behind in the makeup game or oh, anything yes, like that. Is. That is exactly <laughs> what you were saying. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Okay, but so that that's all I want to say. So we're just going to go ahead and jump into that with no further ado. Okay, the first thing I am going to grab, I have two of these in my hand. I think I have a lot more in my collection, but these are the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipsticks. You guys know how I feel about the stupid long names, but. <laughs> that's a whole video so in itself. <laughs> the long names make up a couple yes. come up with. Oh my God. They do it to torture They me. do. They know you like sick. <laughs> oh, when these came out, these were hot. And I actually, what? <laughs> I actually really liked these. I liked the applicator on them. I liked the convenience. I liked the feeling of them. You did. She bought like 20. I did. She even bought me one. I did. I remember the purple one. I was like, she has to have this. But now I never use them. And everybody used these, loved these. And now I never hear anybody talking about them. I never see anybody using it. As a matter of fact, after the initial two weeks or so, I never saw them again. Um, <laughs> when this hype beast, this is a hype beast. This is what you call a hype beast. What it's, is that? A hype beast is... No, what is or, that in oh, your okay. hands? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting to it. This hype beast. Patient. Oh, okay. Clearly. Patience of a two-year-old. Ooh, <laughs> one. Everybody and their mama needed this brush to contour. This is the NARS ETA brush. And everybody acted like if you don't have this brush, then you're not going to be able to contour. Your contour is going to suck. Your It'll face, be too fat. Your face will look eternally fat if you don't have this brush. It doesn't matter whatever brushes you have. Are you contouring? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's does, so slick. Does any other brush work? Wait a minute. Nope, 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 it's not Sucks. working. You needed this brush in order to contour your life together. Every store was, I remember I was getting so mad because the Nordstrom's were sold out of it because Jaclyn Hill introduced oh this brush and then if you didn't have it, it was like done. Nobody mentioned that this brush felt like itchy, itchy, <laughs> scratchy. itchy scratchy hair. This one, I do not have a picture of. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the product I have a picture of. What are you talking about? <laughs> hush. Oh, no. Just hush. I am talking about the Makeup Forever HD Concealer. Everybody talked oh about this for a month straight and it irked my nerves so bad a because I personally thought it was horrible. <laughs> I hated this product. I bought it and I returned it and I did not understand why everybody was like, oh my, oh my god. god, holy <laughs> grail, this is amazing. amazing. This is the best concealer it only had eight colors. And who, who uses that now? Nobody. They were all lying to you. Speaking <laughs> of oh, concealers <laughs> that everybody used to love, um, when I worked at MAC, I would sell one of these every three minutes. <laughs> three seconds. Three, I need the Pro Longwear Concealer. Nowadays. No, 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 it was, do you have that Pro Longwear? It didn't matter which color, they just wanted one of them. <laughs> like, did you want it? You want to get color? No, no, no color. I match. just want one. Um, but uh, nowadays, who uses it? Have you? When was the last time you seen somebody actually pull it out, pump it? I use it in my kit. 
I actually use it in my kit too. <laughs> No, it is a good it's a concealer. concealer. It's and just I bought all of them. I have yes. every single last one of them in my kit. But on a daily basis, if I'm picking out a concealer, I'm not going to be like, ooh, let me, excuse me, get that part longer concealer. <laughs> it's just not on YouTube anymore. No. But I'm going to talk about two products at the same time because basically they're just about the same thing, if you they're ask equal. me. I, and the color too. Hold on. I got to look at these. You've used this. <laughs> okay, I see a little bit of difference. Okay, okay. Well, this, these guys. So I've got Becca Opal and Mac Soft and Gentle. This was actually my very first highlighter. Again, I use this in my kit, but you don't really see people on YouTube using this anymore. And I think it was a lot of people's first highlighter. I remember uh, the lady at Mac putting this on my cheeks, and I was like, "Hold the phone! What the hell did you just put on my cheeks?" And I was like, "I don't need it." I went home and ordered it anyway. <laughs> Always. And then Becca Opal. Uh -huh. Everybody was on this train. I still like it, but I don't use it. No, it's much. still like it's, it's still a, a great still use product. It, uh, occasionally, but not. Yeah, it's still a, Becca has amazing highlighters. But everybody is on that champagne pop train right, now. And right. And I don't see that ending anytime, anytime soon. Anytime soon. Like <laughs> not in the not. Time. So this is a Kat Von D eyeshadow, but since we don't have Thunderstruck, this is what's going to fill in for me to model it for you guys. I mean, they're so similar. <laughs> right. But, um, yeah, same color. What's the difference? Okay, so this... I'm so scared it's gonna fall out like my <laughs> life. You have anxiety. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't find mine because my makeup is not organized. But anyways, <laughs> Thunderstruck was everybody's favorite eyeshadow. Oh, see? <laughs> I've got anxiety, she says. I feel like, hold on, hold on. I'll hold it, you can talk No, it. it's my talking. I'm holding it. I'm gonna hold it just like this. Okay, okay. attention whore. <laughs> so. I like how you didn't deny it. <laughs> okay, whatever, I'll take it. Thunderstruck, everybody's radar. Everybody had to have this eyeshadow. I went to several different Sephora's. They did not have it. I tried to check online. People were selling it on eBay for 100 plus dollars. Ridiculous. Exactly. And now I walked into Sephora. There's 30 Thunderstrucks sitting there with dust collecting on them. Mm -hmm. This was so hyped up. Everybody said, oh my God, it's the perfect highlight. You can use it on your inner tear duct. It's the second coming. You need this. <laughs> You need, you need this. So remember how I said there was a product that I can't stand? Oh, it's this, and it's been in my regrets video, but everybody and their mama had it, and yeah, I don't really hear about this one anymore. I hear more about the Makeup Peak one now. Mm -hmm. This literally does have dust. It, yeah, there it is. Oh. <laughs> it's disgusting. I don't use this brush. No. This is the Sigma F80. Again, Jacqueline Hill made me do it. <laughs> she was all about this brush, and so obviously when I was starting out with makeup, you I had to be a brush, yes. Yes. So I was like, mine. And then you got it. I mean, it did apply product well back when I used a whole lot of product, um, but it does eat your product, and then within six months, I had to have it replaced. So that to me was like a no-go. It should, this isn't a cheap brush. It's 20 something bucks. That should not fall apart, and no. mine did. They replaced it, and I never used it after that because. It's like, thank you for my new yeah. brush. I'm never using it again. Putting it back there. <laughs> like us. So this is one that was near and dear to my heart. I use this foundation every single day for like two years. This is the Nars. Hold up. Nars Sheer Glow. Nars Sheer Glow. I my favorite. favorite. Forever that every Nars foundation breaks me out. Right, but we don't have the same skin, so I was like, whatever. I but kept telling her over and over, and she kept complaining about getting breakouts. But I'm real hard headed though, so I have to like believe it myself. So she used this for you. For like, at least a year straight. At least every day. Like, what's your foundation, Nars Sheer Glow? Because it was my YouTube. perfect color and everybody on YouTube hyped mm -hmm. it up. It was a good match, but it wasn't my favorite front. Can you stop licking my toe, you freak? <laughs> Her dog's They're gonna think I have like some little kid. Right, <laughs> you're licking your toes. Which one of Mel's four kids is down there? Every day, love that foundation until I realized, hey, I have cystic acne. What is, what, what is the correlation? It was that foundation, unfortunately. Some people still like it, you know. I told her. 
her. She loves to say she talk, tells me stuff. I'm gonna get her one day. One day. I'm gonna, How long I'm have we known each other? One, you just wait. It's gonna be the <laughs> most epic I told you in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is another Makeup Forever product. One that I actually really, really like, but then Chanel kind of took over my mm -hmm. whole world yeah. and the Hourglass one. So I haven't used this in a while, but when I got it, I was like, Mine, 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 use it, use it, use it, and so did everybody else, but I'm kind of going to talk about two products again. This one is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion, and the one that I'm really going to say really was hyped up was the Duo. What was that oh my called? Goodness. It had the bronzer. I don't know the exact Sculpting thing. duo. Okay. Mm -hmm. The sculpting duo. And the sculpting was really a bronzer. And then Everybody the body was like, I mean, you can just ignore the bronzer part. You guys, 80% of the product. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, what? I, I did not even buy into that. I was like, you guys are crazy. And now Makeup Forever is actually coming out with the highlight. highlight. You remember when liquid lipsticks were in their infancy and there was only like two <laughs> brands that had liquid lipsticks and Kat Von D was one of them. And there was this little color that nobody really talked about at all. I don't even remember that. I don't even know, Lolita, something like that to that sort. I don't know if you guys, have you guys ever heard of that? Lolita? Lo, lo, it might've been Lolita, something like that. Lolita, let's talk about her. She was infamous. She was on everybody's lips. It doesn't matter if you were bad. <laughs> Lolita was infamous and she was on everybody's lips. I think that's what Kat Von D wanted. This is this is where she wanted us to be. I don't think Kat Von D wanted Lolita to be down like that. I think she did. Um, but Lolita, everybody and their mama. It doesn't matter if you are NW55 to NC. <laughs> 0.2. NW10. NW10. Like everybody wore this color. They made it work. It doesn't matter what undertone you were, where you were from. Everybody had this. If lip you got color. your hands on it. it. Doesn't matter. If you got your hands on it, you had it's to. So get gone. It. Oh my gosh. I saw, I literally saw two girls in Sephora fighting. Are you serious? I'm so, oh my it was God. One Lolita, and like they were like, no, it's my Lolita. Like, uh, did either of them actually end up leaving with it? One of them did. Yeah, she you? was not playing. Yeah, she was not playing. I actually think that it was hers first, but the girl like kind of reached over her to get it. So she deserved it, but still. Was, she it, deserved was it really it. ever that serious, girl? No. The last product I'm going to mention, because this video is a freaking hour long if I talk about any more. So if you want a second video, just let us know. We're always down. That sounds bad. <laughs> we are always down. We are down with the home. <laughs> this is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. Not to be confused with the Enhancer Drops, but these were hyped up and gone just as quick as the Makeup Forever HD Concealer. This, I'm I think that this was marketed as like holy foundation. <laughs> it's the holy water I found it. You're supposed to mix this in with your foundation to darken, to lighten, to add coverage. I saw chicks using this straight up as foundation. They're like, yes. oh my god, I'm like, girl, stop. And they couldn't figure out why they didn't like it. <laughs> my problem with this product for me was that it broke me out. I do think it's a good product, but it made me very shiny, very quick. Mm. But it, like I said, it was just on the internet and, and then go on the internet. internet. I never could find my color. And mm -hmm. I was like, that's defeating the purpose if the custom cover drops don't match me. Right. And I'm trying to make that work. So yeah, I was done. But anywho, that is it. That is it. This was a fun video. Um, again, we're not bashing. We're just yeah keeping it real here. Mm -hmm. There's only one product that I, well, there's two because I didn't like the makeup forever. Okay. I really didn't like that one. I didn't like the F80. But everything else, they're great products. They're just, Hi and bye. Forgotten. Mm -hmm. Forgotten. They've disappeared with the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to both of our channels and thumbs it up. Thumbs up. That way you get more videos from both of us. And if you like it, then tell us in the comment section and we'll do more videos. And 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 I feel like we need like a show name. We do. I think that Kel Mel is just pretty The much. Kel Mel show? Yeah. Do you want it to be Mel Kel? We need to have a Does series. Does Mel work? Oh, I need to go first? If it works. You guys let us know. <laughs> Mel, Which one? Kale or Kale Mel? We're gonna take a vote. We're, look, this is gonna be a, this is a challenge. Yes, now. like which one? Is it the Kale Mel show or the Mel Kel show? Let us know down below. And I think we should have a series. Yes, we should. Just, just tell us what you mm -hmm. wanna see and we'll get together 
and, and we'll, we'll do you it. You know, be our crazy selves. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, guys. See you later. Smooches. Bye. No. <laughs> Diesel, you're not in it with the smooches. Come here. Diesel, I want you smooches so bad. Mm -hmm. I look so pale. It's just because I'm brown. You don't look pale. <laughs> like, you can't sit next to somebody that's NC43 and say, oh my God, I'm like, damn, because you are Why couldn't I have done this video? Two months ago. Yes, and you were we were the same. <laughs> I want lashes. You have them. They're, but I like they're growing yours. out of your face. <laughs> I'm getting antsy. This is who's been licking my toes. <laughs> I lick your face. Hey, toe licker. Hey, toe licker. Uh, oh, I did that with my mouth. Uh, okay, so the, what the hell? <laughs> we need our own show. We do. It would be a good show. <laughs> as soon as she walks the door, we're already starting. I know. I know. <laughs>